Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2014 DuPont World Series of Racing season. This is the first season after the merger between the World Series of Racing and the DuPont Cup Series. Familiar faces and many new drivers are going to take to the track for 22 rounds. So let's take a look at some of the new teams and drivers for this season and some of the drivers that you've come to know and love and also some of the other teams you've come to know and love. We first start off with the Allen Family Racing Team with Vincent Allen and Alex Allen on board. Vincent Allen going to be driving the number zero car for the team. And Alex Allen going to be driving the 08 for this team. This used to be Dave Moore Sports, however, with Daniel Day retiring. He handed over this, the, uh, the ownership of the team to the Allen Racing Family. And now they have now taken over the team of the Volkswagens. CBM returns this season. They had a disappointing last season with only one win, which is won by DJ Curtis. Trev Hebrosis, driving number nine, is a, a season eight champion. Had a rough year last season, looking to try and improve. Jacob Anthony, driving the number 10, came so close to a lot of wins last season, but just came up short a lot of times and just could not find any cars that could put him into the win. However, this season could be different. DJ Curtis got CBM sole win in last season's Talladega 500. As per usual, he will be the Talladega 500 favorite due to his win before. And CBM definitely looking to try and improve from last season. All from Moore Sports has got some new faces. Sean Galligan, however, not a new face, driving the number 44. Had an all right season last season. Got a win in New Zealand, which was pretty impressive for him as he is ready for another uh, good season. Nick Pericles has returned to the DuPont Cup Series. He was driving the number 45 for the team. And uh, he's taking over Ted Nowakowski, who is fired during the offseason. Pericles looking to try and uh, improve. Ian Duda, after uh, not a very good season at Team Discover Ohio, will be moving over to Hope for More Sports and their new BMWs, the second BMW team of the series. Michael Block Racing had an alright season last season. Zach Rogers in number three scored all their wins. However, MBR looking to try and improve, and Zach Rogers is going to try and go for the championship this season, as stated by his comments before. Polish driver Nico Hall, he started off in season number nine. However, he has not found much success. He definitely is on the hot seat for this season, and the Polish driver looking for his second career win. Michael Block in the number 29 had a Pretty horrible season compared to other seasons for this number 29 car. Block, however, is, is a World Series of Racing veteran and a DuPont Cup Series Racing veteran, so he is expected to possibly get a shot at the title. Young Morris Ford switches over to a Dodge Viper model. Dylan Young driving the number two as usual. Dylan Young led the points the entire season until the end of the season and uh, pretty much collapsed and, uh, and was pretty very sad. Seth Cole going over to the number 12 car for another season, another bite. He had an all right season, was in the top 10 in points for a pretty long bit, and almost made it to the championship, but just could not make it. Definitely could be a championship compare for this season. Nick May scored a couple of wins last season for Young Moore Sports, as he has been uh, very successful in the DuPont Cup Series and the Sony Cup Series in the last couple of seasons. We'll see how he does in this number 77 Viper. Charles Sanford in the number 24 car for S3 Motorsports. It's definitely going to be interesting to see how Sanford does. He was uh, one of the only few times that S3 would did got a wow. S3 only got wins with that driver besides PJ Williams. Tamir Delis, one of the Rookie of the Year drivers, the Bosnian driver, very experienced, could be a potential favorite for Rookie of the Year. However, there may be others that might be better than him, but he'll be driving number 25, taking over from PJ Williams. Cody Lamas had a really, really tough year. Most disappointing driver of the year. <laughs> Cody Lamas returns to number 48 yet again. Hopefully he'll be a championship compare this time around, and we'll see how he does. Carolina Racing, a single car team uh, being fielded with Jordan Davis. These are a pair of Nissan. This is a Nissan Skyline. I'm interested to see how these guys do as the... Uh, 
going to be interesting how a single car team will do for this entire season. CM Paul III made DuPont Cup Series history last season with six wins in a single season. Never been done before. With that, Paul has got a lot of pressure on his back for this season. Along with him is Eugene Demaxtra and the number two Audi. Texan Audi, of course. So we should not say the manufacturer. Demax came up just a car length short of last season's DuPont Cup Series championship. He is definitely going to be a lot more aggressive this time around as he is going to go for the title. Sean Angel driving the number 70 for Glacier, a World Series of Racing team that actually managed to stay on the grid. Jordan Smith, last season's World Series of Racing champion. Going to be interesting to see how this guy does. Along with him is Rookie of the Year competitor Sean Angel driving the number 80. Uh, we don't know that Sean Angel's been doing quite a decent job in the Arc Sol Elite Series with two wins, so it's going to be very interesting to see how he does in his rookie year in the World Series, in the DuPont World Series of Racing. James Shelley driving the number 62 for the new Mercedes United Motors team. A uh, Stuttgart United Motors as well. But uh, they've been uh, quite a decent, they've done quite decent practice. Alongside of them is Jeffrey Finguy driving the number 74. He is also a Rookie of the Year competitor. Finguy running his first full DuPont season. James Shelley, the uh, British driver racing as well. Chris Washer driving number five for Team Discover Ohio with a pretty decent paint scheme. Chris Washer left uh, Mayota Incorporated last season to come drive this number five car for the team. Alongside him is Zachary Fitzwater who had a rough season 10 with Day Moore Sports. However, Team Discover being very gracious decided to hire the Australian driver for this season in the number 59 Honda. Retro Racing Enterprises. Uh, Jessica Shelton, I mean Deanna Shelton, wow. Deanna Shelton returns to the DuPont series after an injury that she sustained at Ireland a long time ago. However, she is now fully healed and will be with her usual teammate, Nick Smith. Nick Smith is definitely going to need a very good year in this uh, number 9640. He, he wants to stay in this series as he has been pretty much mediocre ever since he came here. John Cittadino, after Trossmore Sports fell apart, Mayota Incorporated decided to pick up uh, John Cittadino for this season. Cittadino's never really had a good season at all, but he'll be driving his number 36 Toyota Camry T3 chassis, which has been pretty much mid-pack in World Series of Racing oh, well in uh, 2006. Charles Jackson, uh, unsurprisingly, is his teammate, Toyota driver. Had a pretty underdog-type season last season, but whether or not he can contend for the championship is, well, unknown. William Duncan will go over to the number 6 after being the number 41 last season. Duncan's upset win at South Korea made a lot of people hate him even more, especially in Asia. But he will be the head of the Team Thunder Subaru team, as Subaru making their first ever DuPont Series start. Chris Louvier is teaming in the 14. Uh, Louvier, like, uh, like Nick Smith, definitely going to need a good run if he wants to stay in this series, as Team Thunder has already fired Louvier from two of their teams. Matt Duncan will be driving his second full-time season, the Rookie of the Year last season. Matt Duncan in the 42 Subaru, definitely going to need a good season for that team. John Skavnicki in the number 82 Red Bull Toyota Camry T6 chassis. John Skavnicki was suspended for half the season last year and uh, definitely going to need to rebound if he wants a shot at a DuPont Series title anytime soon. But Red Bull has always been a very fast team. Alan Cavanero in the 83. Cavanero almost made it to the title, probably could have won it with only a couple more points if he had made it to the championship as he almost won the last race of the season. He won Ireland last year, definitely could use another win this year. Jay Baskinger with the 84 car again has been very fast in practice as well. Well, it'll be interesting to see how this 84 car does as Jay Baskinger needs a good season. So there you have it, the 36 full-time drivers and teams that will be participating in this season's DuPont World Series of Racing. Good luck to the drivers, good luck to the teams, and we hope all of you at home are ready for what should be a very exciting season of DuPont and World Series of Racing season.